Hey guys, it's Miss Marnin. So in this lesson, we're going to start looking at proportional graphs. So our objective today is I can determine what characteristics of a graph show that it represents a proportional relationship. So by the end of the lesson, we want you to be able to look at a graph and say whether or not it is proportional. So for our DIN, we have this review question. Azir sold candy bars to help raise money for a scouting troop. The table below shows the amounts of candy he sold compared to the amount of money he received. So if you look at the table, here we have X is candy bar sold and Y is money received. So our question says, is the amount of candy bars sold proportional to the money Isaiah received? So pause this video and try this review question now. Okay, if you are stuck, I'm going to give you a hint. So let me get out my pen. When we are testing to see if things are proportional, we are going to look at the unit rate for each row. So we're missing that unit rate row. We normally call it K. It's the unit rate. It's the constant proportionality. If you needed a review, you're going to do three divided by two. We always do Y divided by X. Five divided by four. Nine divided by eight. And 12 divided by 12. So if you were stuck, you can pause the video again with that hint and try now. OK, so I got out my calculator. I'm going to bring it over to the screen, but a little smaller. Don't need it to be the full size. And it's going to keep arguing with me. OK, minimize this a little more. So we need to do three divided by two in our calculator. So we can type that in and we get 1.5. We're going to then need to do five divided by four. We got 1.25, nine divided by eight. 1.125 and 12 divided by 12 we should know is 1. So let's fill that in on our table over here. We got 1.5, 1.25, 1.125, and 1. So is it proportional? No, it is not. We got different unit rates all the way down. So we can say, no, it is not proportional. There is not a constant unit rate, so we didn't get the same number all the way down for unit rate, so it is not proportional. Here we have our preview question. What does the point 10, 12 mean on the graph below? So pause the video and see if you can figure this out. OK, so looking at this graph, when we say 10 comma 12, what we're really saying is this is X and this is Y over and then up. So if you just needed a little review, we do X first, then Y first on points. So if we go over 10 and up 12, we're talking about this point right here. So I'm going to label it on the graph for us. So if we look at the graph, this 10 oops, corresponds to the time in hours, and this 12 is distance in miles. So we have 10 hours, 12 miles. The title says hiking distance. So now we just got to put that all together in a sentence. So what we can say is we know it's after 10 hours. They have hiked 12 miles. So that's just using information right off of the graph. So now let's start looking at our notes. So here we had it where it wasn't proportional. But now we have using the ratio provided create a table that shows money received is proportional to the number of candy bars. So we're going to start with that same two and three and we're going to complete it as a proportional table. Then we're going to plot these points from the table onto this coordinate plane right here. If you need to, you can actually click it and make it a bit bigger so it's easier to see. So why don't you pause the video and fill in this table so that it's proportional. If you wanted a quick hint, you can put four here, so we're going to double it and then six here. So that might be a quick little hint. So if you need to, you can pause the video again and see if you can fig finish the rest of the table. OK, I'm going to fill in the rest of my points, so I'm going to continue counting by twos for X's. So I'm going to two, four, six, eight and counting by threes for my Y's. We got nine and twelve. So if we wanted to write these out as XY points. 
So we write our point as X comma Y. So this point is going to be two, three. Then we have four, six, six, nine, and eight, 12. So X is going to be how far over we go, and Y is how far up we go. So let's put these on this graph. So why don't you pause this video if you haven't done it already and plot these points on the graph. OK, so if you plotted these points, our first point is 2 comma 3, so it's over 2, up 3. Our next point is 4, 6, over 4, up 6. Then we have 6, 9, so over 6, up 9. And then 8, 12, so over 8, up 12. So here are our points. If we wanted to, we could connect them with a straight line. It doesn't usually work here on the browser version of Notebook, but if you actually you open a desktop app, there is a straight line drawing tool. Um, it's a little finicky though, so I'm going to just do my best to draw it in with a pencil here. So let's see how I can do this. Ooh, that's a little OK, I think we can kind of see where it's supposed to be. So it's a straight line. It's going through all these points. It goes from this corner all the way up to the top. Whenever we're connecting points on a graph, we should go all the way to the edges. So starting at the bottom and all the way up to the top. So it says, what are some characteristics you notice of a graph of a proportional relationship? So we made this so it was proportional. If you don't believe me, go through and you can find the unit rate. Do three divided by two, six divided by four. The unit rate or the constant of proportionality here is 1.5. So this graph is a proportional relationship. We made the table proportional. This has to be proportional. So what are some characteristics that we're noticing here? Well, the first thing I notice is they did connect in a straight line. The points did go through zero zero. If you wanted to use the correct term for the point zero zero, we call it the origin. In math class, it's the beginning of the graph zero zero. It's the origin. So those are just some things I noticed. Maybe you notice something else that you would like to put in here. Here is our next example. So does the table below represent a proportional relationship? So go ahead and add in that extra column for K and test this out right now. So pause the video and see if this is a proportional relationship. OK, if you went through these unit rates, this is 0, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 6 is 2, 15 divided by 9 is going to be some decimal or fraction. Let's type it out. We do 15 divided by 9. We get 1.6 repeating. And 18 divided by 12 is going to be 1.5. So is this a proportional relationship? No, it is not. So now it wants us to plot these points on the grid below. So again, just like the other one, if it's easier for you to see, you can make this bigger, especially if you're online. Nothing's stopping you really from extending the graph to take up more space. So if we want to, we can, although it, now my numbers are messed up, so maybe you want to keep it within this box. We can write out what these points are. So this point is going to be 0, 6, 3, 9. 6, 12, 9, 15, and 12, 18. So now let's plot the points. So if you haven't already, pause the video and plot the points on the graph now. OK, so you should have plotted the points. Our first point, I'm going to do a different color. Let's do red so we can see it. 0, 6, so over 0 and up 6. It's going to be right here. 3, 9 over 3, up 9. 6, 12, over 6, up 12, 9, 15, over 9, up 15. 
and then 12, 18 doesn't quite fit on this. So here's 16, 17, 18 is going to be about there. If we connect these in a straight line, it looks like they can go straight through. Like that, so I started from one side, went all the way up and through. So similarities with example one. So looking at this, how are these two similar? Well, I'm noticing that they are both straight lines. I notice that they both go up when it goes from left to right. So as we go left to right, it's moving up. Some differences with example one. So this one does not start at the origin. So this straight line does not pass through this point zero zero right here. And that's really kind of it. It's like it, they took it and they shifted it up. So here we have one last example. So we're going to test any hypotheses you might have. So looking at these two, this one is not proportional. This one is proportional. So what might you be thinking about a proportional graph? So I know I'm thinking that they're straight lines. And example one went through the origin where the not proportional one did not. So if you have any ideas, let's test them out. So this table is proportional. If you don't believe me, you can come through and do all the unit rates all the way down. But you're going to get two. The first one, whenever you have zero, it's never going to work. You can't divide by zero. So this one you're going to get two, two, two. It is proportional. Now it wants us to plot these points. Just like before, if you need to, you can make this bigger so it's easier to see. So now we have the point zero, zero. So this first one represents zero, zero. So go ahead, plot all four of these points. OK, so you should have plotted these points. Let's do green this time. So zero, zero, two, four, four, eight, and then eight, 16. So following the eight line all the way to the tippy tippy top. So if we wanted to connect them, let's see if it's right. So we're going to start at the first point and connect them as best we can. If we were in class on paper, we'd be using a ruler. So here we have, is our hypothesis right? Well, it is a straight line and it does go through the origin. And that's kind of what I was thinking. So let's put that in here. So yes, it was a straight line through the origin, which is the point zero zero so now we have some notes to fill in so when two proportional quantities are graphed on a coordinate plane the points appear on a blank blank that passes through the blank so let's just make sure we have this filled in so it's going to appear on a straight line this is going to let me edit this maybe not maybe we have to draw it in be on a straight line filling this first blank in that passes through the origin what's happening don't know why it won't let me write that in okay let's just draw it in so it goes through the origin which is the point zero zero OK, so now you have some practice, so you're going to take this table and you're going to graph it. Is it proportional? So you can check is it proportional from the table and you can check if it's proportional from the graph. And so then asks, how do we check? So what are you looking for in the table? What are you looking for in the graph? Then we have our exit ticket here, so you're going to have to fill in, make this a proportional table. So it's got one value in so you can scale it down and you can scale it up. Plot them on this graph. And how can you tell the graph also shows a proportional relationship? When you're done with the practice and exit ticket, you have a self reflection. I can determine the characteristics of a graph, or do you need help? So, do you know is it proportional, yes or no, or do you need help with proportional graphs? When you're all done, make sure you're going onto Canvas and clicking Mark as Done for this lesson and seeing if there's anything else you need to do for today.